Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to have these nails from these two beautiful nails. The first thing, prep my nails, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those cuticles and then I will be pushing back the cuticles even more using the drill. After that I will be using my hand file just so I can go ahead and file my natural nail without hurting it. I will be cleaning my nails after that with alcohol. And then I will start gluing in my nails like so. After that, I will use this nail cutter, which is perfect for me because I'm super crooked when it comes to getting them straight. And uh, this way I can just get, you know, the length that I want. And then I will be using the drill and uh, just giving the, those nails the shape that I want. Um, after that, I will use the hand nail one more time just to make sure that those edges are on point. And then I will go back to the drill and just rough up that nail so it can blend a little bit more with my natural nail. Notice that my natural nail is not being touched with the drill because my nails are already very thin, so I do want to take care of my natural nail. You will end up with something that looks like this and then I will be using acrylic powder from Mia Secret and also a clear powder. I like to use this thicker brush and today, yes, we will be using some glitter. I will use the Mia Secret monomer and also the primer. I'm going to go ahead and apply that primer on all of my nails. I'm going to get some of that monomer and then I'm going to go ahead and get a bead from the colored Mia Secret acrylic. And I'm just going to go ahead and push it lightly like so. Do remember that I'm not a professional, I'm just learning by myself. So here, you know, a lot of people make it so easy to work with this type of glitter and it wasn't. I actually struggled quite a bit. The best tip I can give you when it comes to working with glitter and when you don't want to mix it with your acrylic is to actually put acrylic on the nail and then put the glitter with it or on the acrylic bed. That is the best way you're going to be able to get it to stay where you want it to. Okay, after that, I went ahead and encapsulated the glitter with the clear acrylic. And once again, you know, just take your time. If you are not a professional and you just want to, you know, play with your nails, you have to be very patient. It did take me a while to figure this out about the acrylic. And, you know, I watched other videos as well. And uh, they make it seem so easy. And sometimes it's just not. But, you know, the point is to have fun. So this is what I have after that. And as you can see, they look very chunky because I did have to encapsulate. So, you know, I had to do a lot of filing. And that's okay. Next time. It will be easier than the first time. So after spending a lot of time filing those nails because I don't like them thick, then I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this glitter. And that one is, I believe I got it at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on all my nails. It is not a gel. Um, it is not a gel glitter or whatnot. So I waited a little bit for it to dry. And then I'm going to finalize this set with, uh, with a clear coat. And actually, I was very surprised to what I ended up with, keeping in mind the struggle that I went through with these nails. So this is what I ended up with. And I have to tell you, I am very proud of my work. Anyhow, my friends, I hope that this video was helpful. And like always, I will see you on my next video. Hasta la vista. Adios.